are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Thursday, the 12th of November. I'm James Spann. The dew points come way down today. That means the humidity will be much lower, and the pattern looks pretty quiet for a while, and next week will be much cooler. Here we go. There's the upper air look this morning across the country. Of course, we've got uh, the tropical system down in North Florida. Got a trough coming down across the Rockies. That'll push some pretty cool air down in here by early next week. Uh, there's the radar early this morning. Rain well to the east. That was at 442. That rain pushing away from us, and we'll see a clearing sky today. 54 for Cullman and Haleyville as that cooler, drier air pushes in. And uh, farther back to the northwest, Memphis down to 45. Now, highs will be in the 70s today, but again, the humidity will be much lower than recent days. There's the watch warning map. Flash flood watches for parts of the Carolinas and Virginia with Ada pushing northeast. And out west, some wind and winter issues there. Marginal risk of severe storms today for parts of the Carolinas with Ada. This is tomorrow, and this is day three, which is Saturday. We've got a marginal risk over parts of Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri with that next front. But by the time it reaches us on Sunday, showers will be pretty hard to find, most likely. In fact, here's the rain for the next seven days. Big numbers over the Carolinas with Ada today. And again, over the upper Pacific coast. But for Alabama, a big bunch of nothing, if this verifies. Now, we are going to mention isolated showers Sunday afternoon. So somebody might see a bit of rain with that front. But next week looks totally rain-free. Ada is over North Florida this morning. Really created some messy conditions over Tampa Bay yesterday and last night. That'll be over Jacksonville a little later today. And then out into the Atlantic, becoming post-tropical. Theta in the eastern Atlantic, that becomes post-tropical early next week, west of Portugal. And Invest 98L, uh, still very disorganized in the western Caribbean. This thing is headed for Central America and most likely becomes tropical storm iota, maybe hurricane iota. Look at the intensity guidance. Many of the models bring it up to major hurricane status by the time it reaches Central America, and that's the last thing that they need. Keep in mind, Ada was a Category 4 when it came into Central America, Nicaragua, um, recently. Let's go through the modeling here. This is the GFS, the 06E run at 4 o'clock today, troughing over the northern states. And again, for us, a clearing sky, becoming sunny this afternoon, lower humidity, highs, low to mid-70s. Tomorrow, we start the day in the 40s, the high close to 70, a picture-perfect fall day. Same thing Saturday, lows well down in the 40s, maybe some 30s for the colder pockets, highs low to mid 70s, bright sunshine. And then Sunday, that front comes through and it might squeeze out a few isolated showers, but moisture very limited. So rain, if any, should be very light and very spotty. High Sunday will be in the 70s and Monday will be much cooler. Start the day in the 30s, the high dropping in the low 60s. Tuesday, I think we'll see widespread frost Tuesday morning. Lows well down in the 30s, a freeze for the colder pockets. The high in the low to mid-60s. Wednesday, sunny with mid-60s. And a week from today, Thursday the 19th, the short wave ridge in place. And again, sunny and cool. Let's go out 10 days. This is Saturday the 21st, ridging in place. And again, a very dry air mass. The chance of really meaningful rain looking awfully small here for the next 10 days. In fact, this is the uh, spread off the European Ensemble. Uh, some of the members basically with nothing. The mean is about a half inch. And temperatures nice and cool next week with 60s during the day, 30s and 40s at night. However, the guidance from CPC suggesting temperatures could go back above average November 19th through the 25th if this verifies. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.